Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Have you heard the news about the new Cricut offset feature in Cricut Design Space? I can't wait to show you how it works. It's going to make things so much easier. We don't have to have an additional program to make our offsets anymore. We can do it really easily in Design Space as one feature. And it's a really great way of adding new layers to your designs. So I'm going to jump straight into it now and just show you really quickly how to use the offset feature. So guys here we are in design space and the first thing that we're going to do is insert some text to make the sticker design or the design that you want. So just go to the text button, type in what you'd like and I am going to go for relax and enjoy life. And then all I'm going to do is resize it. So I'm going to ungroup first of all and make everything individual letters. So ungroup and then I'm going to select each word and group it back up individually. So I can move each word around the canvas. So I'll just do that for all of those. And then the little and symbol obviously is on its own. So let's move them all out of the way. I'm gonna make my and a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna unlock the handle on there and make that bigger. I'm just gonna arrange each piece now to how I want it to be. I'm going to show you um, a vinyl layered sticker and also a print then cut version of the same thing and I'll show you how to change it from layers into a print then cut. It's very simple to do. Okay so I'm happy with how I've got all those now so I'm just going to select everything and then I'm going to go up to the new offset button which is just at the top here, just click on that and you'll see now that we've got a slider, actually I'm just going to move this out of the way so we can see the changes it makes. So click on there again, so we've got a sliding bar, so if we go to the right it makes your offset and you can change that so it's as big as you want it to be or if you go backwards it creates almost an inset um, and you'll get little gaps in between your words but we want to do an offset so we're going to go back out that way. You can also type in the box if you want to and it will give you just over two and a half centimetres of offset for your design if you do change the numbers in the box. You've also got the um, smooth corners or you've got the square corners, obviously the smooth corners are the bubbles of the offset which is what we're used to seeing and probably what most people prefer. Also, you'll need to make sure that you've got the weld box ticked, otherwise you'll end up with your first layer of your offset being all individual bits of offset, so we don't want that. But now that we've got that done, there is our first layer of offset. I apologise if you can hear a jingle bells, it's the dogs in the background. So I'm just going to change the size of my, no I'm not, I'm going to change the colour of my design. So I want a purple offset and a, a more lilac-y writing and then I'm going to pop that over, it looks really nice. So in proper Blue Peter style, here's one that I made earlier and this is relax and enjoy yourself. So I'm now going to add a third layer to this design, so I'm going to again select everything and then I'm going to go up to offset again and I'm going to make a skinnier layer and I'm going to have this one as being black for the back background and I think it just really makes it stand out a bit a little bit more by having another layer so you can see that we've got the black the purple and the lilac now so let's just recap and do that again on the relax and enjoy yourself so again select everything hit offset and add your layer we don't want it to be too big and then click on apply. There we go. That looks great. So I'm really happy with my three layers and you can see on the right hand side you've got three layers now for each one. So I'm going to click on make it and show you how it comes up. So because this is a layered decal design this is giving me three different mats to cut with. So I've got my black, my purple and my lilac and it's doing three cuts. So when you do that you'll need to cut three separate mats and then you'll layer on top of one another. Now if we want to make this into a print then cut image, we just select everything and we can go down in the cut menu to print then cut 
and then that turns it into that and we want to also now go down to flatten and flatten the image. I'm just going to put them both as a print then cut so they'll come out on the same sheet and then let's just go again and select one of the stickers and then we'll go down to flatten and this basically makes everything in your design one layer so if we go on to make it now as you can see that's turned it from three into one the three layers are still on the other one and this one has turned into one layer so if we go now and do the same with this one we've got our separate layers so let's move that one over that's one layer so let's select everything on here and then again go down to flatten, hit flatten and you'll see all the layers have disappeared on the right hand side and now we have one layer for our sticker ready to be cut out. So we go to make it, we've now got a plain sheet and we've got the print then cut image on the screen with the black borders and it also says print then cut on the side. One thing that I just need to mention before we finish off is that this is a desktop only feature at the moment. Offset will not work on iPads or iPhones but hopefully it won't be too long before they include those as well. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you've got any questions and subscribe. Thanks a lot, take care.